So number one topic to talk about is unfortunate news um, for all of you McQueen fans out there. The one and only Sarah Burton is leaving Alexander McQueen after nearly two decades, 20 years at McQueen at the helm there. Um, ever since um, Lee McQueen unfortunately passed away, she has been holding down the fort and now she is going to be stepping aside and allowing somebody else new to come in. So this is the article courtesy of The Guardian and it says as follows, um, Sarah Burton, the creative director of Alexander McQueen who designed the Princess Wales wedding dress is leaving the fashion house after more than two decades. In a statement released on Monday, carrying the brand's parent company announced that it was its show on the 1st of September during Paris Fashion Week will be Burton's last. We would like to express immense gratitude to Sarah for writing such an important chapter in the history of Alexander McQueen. Um, how sorry um, Sarah's contribu contribution over the past 26 years will be an indemnable mark will leave an indemnable mark sorry and um, what's that word called what's that person called Gian Gianfilippo Gianfilippo Testa and Alexander McQueen chief executive Kering said Burton's successor would be announced in due course the Macclesfield born designer first joined the brand in 1996 as a permanent year um, on the placement year sorry while studying at St Martin's in London she returned after graduation just two years after in 2000 was named head women's designer after the death of the brand founder lee alexander mcqueen in 2010 she was named a successor and charged with continuing his legacy a year later burton shot to international fame when she revealed that she was designer behind the princess of wales wedding dress as you can see there in the picture at the time the, the clarence house said that they had chosen the british brand for the beauty of the craftsmanship burton described the process of creating the lace gown complete with an eight foot train as the experience of a lifetime she has remained the princess's designer of choice for events including a wedding at the duke of duchess of sussex in 2018 and a funeral funeral of queen elizabeth ii in 2022 in 2012 burton was awarded the order of the british empire obe for her services for the british fashion industry her departure was announced amid a broader reconstruction um, at caring which also owns gucci balenciaga saint laurent and bottega veneta McQueen, who founded the label in 1992, um, sold majority stake to the Gucci Group and now merged with Kering in 2001. The French conglomerate, founded by Francois Henri Benoit or Benou, how do you fucking say his name, is attempting a major transformation in order to revive sales as its star label Gucci, given a new direction of the luxury group in recent years, has lagged behind LVMH, its biggest rival, which owns Louis Vuitton. In November 2022, announced Angela McKelly was relinquishing his role as creative director, um, Sabato de Sano, his successor will make his debut of the brand next week during Milan Fashion Week, which would be fucking awesome. There's also a reshuffle in management level. This month, Marco Bizzari will step down as chief executive of Gucci, while the group has appointed more Maureen Chiquette or Coquette or Chiquette as a former um, chief executive of Chanel to its board of directors and named Francesca Bellettini as a chief executive at Saint Laurent and a head of the group portfolio brands. Last week it was revealed that Benoit or Benoit um, will take the controlling stake of the creative arts agency CAA, the Hollywood Talent Agency, which represents A list uh, um, actors including. Brad Pitt, Salma Hayek, and Penoir's wife. Um, Penoir acquired CAA for $7 billion through the Penoir Family Investment Fund, um, Artemis, which owns 42% stake in Kering. The venture marks a new direction for Penoir, who spent most of his past decade building a $40 billion for profile portfolio, so focus focused on luxury. So, first things first, it's amazing that Sarah Burton is going to get an actual amazing goodbye. I feel like, for whatever reason, I feel like, so obviously sometimes when designers are at houses and there's you know bad behavior involved there's fraud there's whatever then i understand where they do the whole immediate effect you know no big statement and they just let the person just kind of disappear into the shadows but i think when somebody's been at a house for as long as um um sarah burton has been at mcqueen you sort of deserve a good sending off and one of the things that kind of gutted me about the gucci story with alessandro michele is that he never got that sign off i don't really know what that was about i always felt like he did a really good job at gucci yes towards the end it was getting a little bit you know a little bit stale it was getting a little bit repetitive and boring but i still felt like he did enough to bring gucci back into the cultural zeitgeist to make it a quote-unquote trendy brand once again and he deserved a good send-off which he never really got he kind of disappeared into the night um, in between seasons didn't really get a send-off no flowers at the end of the runway no tears no nothing he just kind of showed his last collection and it was kind of over at least 
um, Tara Burton will get that. Um, she's kind of a bit press shy, really, for the most part. Um, she doesn't seem like something that's going to really bask in all that attention, but it's still nice to be acknowledged, to have your flowers, and um, for all the amazing work that you've done. So I'm really glad that's going to be happening. But another part of me is also thinking it's about time. 20 years at a label um, or a house like McQueen is probably long enough. Um, if you want to be innovative, if you want to be kind of forward thinking, if you want to be fresh, you kind of need fresh talent to kind of step into the fold. And no better person as a fresh talent who's now free, having recently stepped down from their role at Supreme, get Tremaine Emery involved. <laughs> Make Tremaine Emery the head of Alexander McQueen, right, to bring it back into the modern 21st century. And then you'll see stuff change, right? Or you can maybe hire a flipping future, who's now the creative director of some capsule thing at Lamba, right? Get him involved. Um, who else is involved? Maybe you can get Yoon from Ambush. Maybe Yoon from Ambush can take over. Imagine, imagine how much Twitter, sorry, fashion Twitter would break down if someone like a Yoon Ambush got the job or if they gave the job to like, I don't know, Justin Saunders from Jound. Like imagine if they gave to one of those people I'm thinking. It would, people would go absolutely crazy if they gave it to like Alex Olsen, right? Bianca Shandon, dude. Um, if they gave, <laughs> I'm trying to think of some street guys who could have it because Heron Preston can't take it now because he's obviously at H&M. But I wonder if, if they're going to go the streetwear route and try and get somebody who's kind of cool and in the know. Maybe they might try to tap fucking Mawa Lola or something, right? Or Mawa Lola, however you pronounce her name, I do apologize. Or another one is a good maybe in the addition here. They go the fashion route. And instead of trying to hire somebody within Sarah Burton's design team, you just go fresh and you kind of take a nod back to the legacy of at Lee McQueen and you tap in some kids from fucking St. Martin's and you don't really have it be like a main person. You have it like be like a collective. So there's no real face to it. And you just start churning out the designs like that. Like how Margiela was after Margiela left and before what's his face? Um, John Galliano stepped in where it's sort of like a collective um, or even how it is now with Gucci, the Gucci studio, I saw designing the runway collections. I'm sure they could do it. If you tapped in with some kids from St. Martin's um, on the, on the BA course, on the MA course, and you got them to be involved in it, that would be a pretty sick little role. And maybe every year you have one spot open for recent graduates to kind of join the design team. It'd make it really popping and it would turn London. And, and then again, you, you return the shows back to London. Like that would be flipping crazy. Like the Anzheimer McQueen shows back in London, London the fashion week um you know spearheaded by a collective of of kids who recently graduated from flipping st martin's and shit or other fashion schools across the uk maybe you select like one from each of the best ones one from st martin's one from middlesex one for whatever right that would be fucking sick i'd fucking love that but it's like it's not gonna happen they're gonna probably pick someone within her team i'm assuming or maybe somebody that's in the um, behind the scenes that i'm not really too aware of maybe you have to be a little bit more balls deep in the industry to sort of know these people um but i would like to see something like that along those kind of lines because i know fashion twitter is going to be angry if they get someone from streetwear because you know fashion twitter people hate the streetwear guys even though the streetwear guys they sell a lot um they're clearly popular um and you know they clearly have a handle on the cultural zeitgeist got their finger on a button they're able to go viral all that good stuff that you know cheeky executives and board members like because it makes them money but i think artists because i think mcqueen you can't it can't just be fully a commerce thing it has to be some level of artistry and love and whatever else included so hopefully Hopefully we see that and they do end up hiring somebody that's probably fit for the role but again don't hold your breath because it took them a long time to make the change with them Sarah Burton so I don't you know think they're gonna finally decide to make sweeping changes um big ones that I would like to see anyway um going forward now that she's sort of stepped away um there's a Vogue article here as well which says this was Sarah Burton's Alison McQueen as seen in Vogue we've got various pictures here of Sarah Burton's designed as pictured in Vogue magazine as I'm scrolling down you can see some excellent moments but like i said before i just think we do it does need a freshening it does need a new direction it does need a new voice and i think probably now is probably the best time considering the amount of talent that exists out there because i'm just thinking of the top of my head of people that don't have jobs or that would love to get the job there's probably people that already have brands now um you know debuting at fashion week and shit who would probably love to get this position also that might be a good way to kind of go in it like imagine if they gave it to um What's about who's the guy that I like? Charles Jeffrey. Lover boy. He could probably do something really good with this. Um the other designer, um what, what the name, because uh, I when I when I scrolling down here, it kinda reminds me of it. Um is it Chipova? Cheap Shipova or something like that, right? I forgot how you pronounce her name. But that aesthetic may actually go well with the uh, McQueen also. So I'm just kind of thinking 
out of my arse here. Is it Chipova or Chipova? Um, yes, yeah, is it Chipova Luena? Is that the one? Yeah, I think that might be the one. That might be the brand. Again, very out there choices. Don't kill me, but I'm just trying to think out of the box. But, you know, Sarah Burton did a good job. Um, great job, actually. Not even a good job. She has a lasting legacy. And I'm eager to see what the new direction is going to look like. For her personally, I wonder what that's like, right? You do a job for 20 years, 20 plus years, nearly 30, right? Um, what do you do now? Do you just like chill and enjoy life with your family? Do you design in the background silently under a pseudonym or, you know, just anonymously? Like, what do you actually do? Like, in that regard, I wonder what, what the, what that looks like, because I feel like fashion is similar to like UFC and boxing and shit. You don't really leave it at the top. Usually you get pushed out because you're stale and you run your course. But when you do get to leave on your own terms, you should probably leave with your head high and actually go out on a high and not try and come back and set up your own label and shit and just, you know, enjoy the memories you've had. Maybe drop a few pieces here and there, but don't set up a whole brand. That's just not worth, it probably isn't worth it after 20 something years, but who knows? Um, we're eager to see what her next chapter is going to be like going forward. So Godspeed to Sarah Burton.